okay friends let's continue our designing part of api page okay uh, with json data pattern we will get pop up with css and get link same functionality pop up and link we can copy that okay first of all let me show you how to use alignment for our h1 we have a here h1 heading i will give it height 300 pixel refresh you can see it's now give it a line atom center you can see it's now alignment and we have a heading it okay you can use font family also any uh, you see you see okay it's our api you can use any width and here font family make it more amount of space okay it's good now play with flexbox uh, let's say i have a one more button open open in new tab okay and i will copy for all div and you can see now we have a three buttons and equal width because we are using flexbox now i need to make it uh, decoration none and little bit more padding it's not six yeah this now nice now i need different color of all three buttons for that use css3 file class two means second button and three means third button for that just change the background color uh, red and vpn if And number three background color let's say it's green okay go to browser refresh now you can see this will open new tab uh, like if we have a our api products api categories and api addresses okay this is category is product we achieve it with our own click okay go to your blade function uh, blade file create a first pop up here pop up for json data h div we will achieve it only CSS, only CSS, not any JavaScript class overlay and close this div and start new div class name pop up. We just change this number to create many multiple pop-ups so this div also you know this div create your close uh, heading like a products close h2 and here close button box close and href just hash and, and 
times x. Update to your content. Lastly, any use you can use any name for this. I am using content. This is products data. Nice. If I go to the uh, browser and refresh, you can see it's your key. But we make it style. Okay. Uh, style for the pop. Now, first of all, over there. We will create overlay class position fix and top zero bottom zero also left zero right also zero that's all make it through one line okay and share background background you can use rgb or use any color for that zero 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 and hit seven you can use any color and share branch transaction occupancy on 500 ms and visibility hidden occupancy that's overlay is ready and overlay target overlay target visibility visible when it's targeted focus is one now it's display when this is targeted now pop up Now style for pop up margin 30 pixel auto. Okay. Wait a minute. Margin 70 pixel and auto. You can customize it according to your environment padding. One pixel background color, you can use any color for that. I am using white and border radius five pixel is making it more beautiful and width, width 50%. And for this one. Relevate and an exam all less basic in out. That's all. Okay, that's all the pop up. Now we need pop up close and pop up content. But first of all, we can open it and refresh. Okay, uh, it's not ready for this. We need pop up close. It's an absolute and so, 20 pixel, right, 30 pixel, projection all 
hundred ms font size you can use any font size I cut it with a little bit bigger and for weight bold yes decoration none you could say it's anchor tag and color you can use and okay refresh ah now make it targeted uh, let's say i need to call this here refresh click on this uh, which one yeah its address is this is product i, I don't need here a uh, determinant let me copy this all three is address data okay it's address data copy for others now it's categories data categories data nice copy for that products products is now products data okay change the id as you want to show pop up one and here pop up two change this that's nice refresh click here you can see its products data close this categories data is address data change heading also and here categories and address nice okay Okay, refresh. Now it's categories and this must be address. Uh, make it one more thing. Do for content ID also. Pop up. Dot content. Max height. Thirty percent overflow. Order. Okay, this will be work when we have a multi line data. Okay. Now replace this with your actual data. Data and tap your products. your array of products and copy paste here for categories categories and share for addresses refresh uh, Something here. Let me undo. Fresh. Fresh. Ah. Here is. Problem. A category is problem. The app 
let me check my model name is oh no no it's pro catch it's error it's pro catch okay and refresh if i click on json data you can see it's your categories okay and share also app your addresses all data refresh get address it's your address okay uh, it's not working our content overflow i think so pop up okay, pop up class id pop up three oh, it's working not. let me check again refresh inspect that okay this is not working seven uh, margin we can use imported here refresh now it's working uh, let me include this content not proper let me check this proper which style is not working there uh, content okay i think this one is not working important and maybe it talks important hey, refresh load this refresh again okay we need this content uh, let me check my where is my content ID? This is the content. Um, X ID a uh, height two hundred. I think two hundred. Uh, refresh. Check address. Now you can see. Yeah. And overlay of overflow. This overflow is not done. Refresh. Get no. Okay. So refresh again. Get data. Now you can see uh, this is my match. Okay. Mm, in the close, well, why is not? alignment let me check okay uh, let me make this position absolute important and this one also make it important refresh uh, Open up again. I think this one. Why? Um, let me just check. Test line center. That's why it's not. Going okay, no problem. Test line center Just 
we have to zoom here that's a line justify with important because our main view is making the problem here like a test line center yeah this one making close this refresh now oh, it's right but let me check that this no, it's not problem. We can, can it more interesting with let's say this F S2 I think S2 and make it best line center with this yeah, it's nice. Okay. It's now good. But my overlay is not working here. Then it is not working. Next guy 30% overlay. Okay, leave it. Uh, I will uh, set all in the behind the scene and you can copy all data from my github okay now let me complete other one for, for first of all for products let me copy this and get the link and here i will say copa 2 and copa 2 no? 1.2 i think 1.2 because it's 1.2 1. 2, 1. 1.2 okay it's 1 underscore 2 that means this is 3 and is a data input no I think that's area and here I will say URL and API products. That's nice. And close the text area. It's your Copa Copa 2. Let me test it. API uh, not like that is this okay. refresh okay get link now you can see you can get this link okay you can make it more big and copy this and test here you can see it's working okay close the extra tabs and here copy the link of product api ah, nice and now copy this copy for this one category category type and here change is category that's all refresh close it get link of category oh, I forget to add this that's right refresh get link now you can get link of categories let me check and test yes it's working nice copy the link of category api that's nice and edge now json data of address use same for uh, 
Ano dia sendat ano? Getting confidence. Confidence for your get link. Okay, here in this three and let's say addresses and change here addresses the refresh get link of address yeah you can see there's now your link of api of address test it also that's nice okay okay guys in the next video we will use all this api in our mobile application development with react native okay the one more thing left open in the new tab it's very easy i know you you, you already know how it's doing it just copy this link and paste here and make it target blank okay target blank copy this and copy this link also paste here make it also target blank refresh open the new tab is products that's nice open the new tab is category open the new tab is addresses now i hope guys you get and understand how to use api and how to use flexbox and you know how to make a pop-up with only CSS don't need JavaScript for pop-up and you know this flexbox is very interesting it's already responsive you can see it's responsive and it's very modern thing you learn today okay guys thank you